Welcome back guys this is section 4.10 okay and here we have to solve this question 48 in which uh, I have to use a column of map to find the minimum product of sum for each of the expression okay so here I am going to solve this part A so in part A we have A plus B plus C okay and A complement plus b complement plus c complement okay and the last term here is a plus b complement plus c okay so as we can very clearly see that these are all the product of sums okay so these are the product of the sum form and here we have the binary values which should give me the addition equal to 0 okay so therefore in order to give this addition equal to 0 the binary values for each of the uh, sum term here will be what that would be 0 0 0 for the first term for the second term I should have 1 1 1 and for this term I should have 0 1 0 because this is a complete opposite of the sum of the product forms okay and here the domain is also a b c okay so this is the domain and uh, after finding the binary values what I have to do I have to draw the column of map okay so let me draw the column of map here so the corn of map here will be for the three variables because the domain is composed of these three variables so a b and here i have c and let me draw it here as well and writing the combinations so 0 0 0 1 1 1 and 1 0 okay similarly here i have 0 and 1 and drawing all the cells here these are the cells here okay after what i have to do i have to write the ones for all the i had to write ones for all the uh, terms which were basically here in my sop form but here for the product of sum form what i have to do i have to write zeros for all the binary values okay so here i have zero 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 so here this one is the entry here this first entry so here i have to write zero okay so this is zero 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 uh, similarly I have triple one so triple one is here and I have to write here zero because this is a complete opposite of that of the sum of the product simplification which we have previously seen and similarly zero one zero so zero one zero is here okay so all the other terms will be ones okay as we had previously seen in our sum of product simplification that all the remaining terms were zeros while all the binary values which we have found for the sum of products were composed of ones in the entries which were specified okay so these are the zeros okay so and in order to find the simplified or minimum pof what i have to do i have to gather the number of zeros in the form of twos or fours or eights okay so this is the first entry and here i can very easily see that what are the constant terms this is the first term which is constant so that is a because it will remain zero so that is a and with it this c will also remain zero so i have to add with it this c okay so this is a which are constant and this is c and as both of them are already zero so i have to add them and this is the first sum term okay so similarly the second zero is here which is uh, alone here and these are triple ones so therefore what i have to do i have to make the addition equal to zero so therefore i have to make all these three equal to zero so a prime plus b prime plus c prime this is a second okay so here I have these two entries and I have to multiply them together and the output here I will have a plus c this is the first term here which I have got here and the second term is a complement plus b complement plus c complement this is the second entry and this is the simplified or minimum product of some form which I have to find out okay and this is what this is the product product of some 
simplification okay so here i had simplified it by using the what by using the corn of maps okay so uh, that is basically the solution of our question in which we have seen all the steps which are required for the pos minimization so i think all the steps are clear now and i will see you with some more interesting questions in our upcoming video